Hello, my name is Matt Sinner and you're listening to MetalStorm.net. Four years since your last North America tour and now you are finally back. Yeah. How has this tour been going so far? So far, surprisingly good. Uh, the numbers are great, the merch sales are great, and even the most important thing, the fans are loud and they are there and we are very happy. Um, you're supporting uh, delivering the Black Album right now yes. on this tour. How many new songs are you playing? Uh, we play four songs in the set. Which ones? I will play Alive and on Fire, Delivering the Black, One Night in December, and When Death Comes Knocking. There you go. Uh, since Magnus is sitting this tour out because of the kids and uh, Tom is with you, how long did you guys rehearse the new set list for Tom, if at all? So, uh, uh, as it was clear that Tom rejoins the band for the, for the live shows, uh, we rehearsed uh, for some day in our rehearsal room in Stuttgart in Germany before we were going on a five-week European tour. And uh, we actually done this five-week European tour and after that we did Rock Meets Classic, which was a, a huge, immense tour with Alice Cooper. And then uh, we're back to America and after that straight to Japan. Um. New album. Who first of all came up with the album title? Uh, some drunk Germans during a tour before. We were partying in the bus and have some drinks and talking about a new album title. And uh, we came up with that album title and uh, from that point we said, oh, it's a nice title, let's do it. Uh, Unbreakable was a great album, but in my opinion, Delivering the Black kind of surpassed it and kind of put everybody in there, oh yes, they still <coughs> got it. It's more in your face, it's more aggressive. Was that planned or did it just develop that way? Well, we really want to improve the path we were going with Unbreakable and um, working hard on the songwriting. We were really never happy with that so we worked and worked and worked and uh, uh, the songwriting was a very important part of the of the of the production and um, some songs were easy from the beginning there were some songs which were hard I think for one night in December we needed about really nine months till the finished uh, arrangement was done and uh, but it was a great creative process and everybody was very into it and uh, uh, I can say I had a lot of fun writing this album with a lot of motivation, with a lot of great vibes and it was, it was a cool process. So we knew that we want to go that way. But you, you, you don't know if you can write exactly the songs you want to. Right. But we did. Uh, now on this take, the, the guitars are, as usual, great, but I feel that Randy kind of stepped it up a notch. Is that because of the way the songs were written, or did he want to uh, be adventurous in his drumming on this album? No, no, as we prepare the songs, we have already Randy's way of drumming in our mind. So, and... But we keep him every freedom uh, he can have in his playing. And um, it was very well prepared. Randy's always very well prepared, great equipment. He came to the studio and we worked hard on his drum tracks and it was worth it. So I think, uh, as you said, we really improved in every little place here and there. And overall that makes the different uh, impression of the great album like Unbreakable. We have a maybe even better album with Delivering the Black. I, I think so. Thank you. Um, what was the first song you wrote for the new album? The first song we wrote was uh, actually Delivering the Black. We wanted to write, to start writing with the song totally in the tradition of Primal Fear and to have that basic thing done and edit then some more songs. Mm. Uh, when this comes knocking, I really like that song, but I cannot shake that gamma ray vibe. Um, do you think this was a good choice to have this released as this first single for the album? And 
The song was written by me and Magnus, and I don't want to go too far, but we will definitely let have gamma ray in our mind. But uh, it's rock and roll, and, and you never know what comes out of this. And with Ralph's voice on top, if I would would have sung, sung the song, it would sound a little different. So Ralph is singing it, so he said, "Okay, this is could be." Gamma Ray, but Ralph was a big part of Gamma Ray in the first three three albums. So I can just uh, uh, tell you, Magnus and me, we have nothing to do with Gamma Ray. But the song in itself, it's a little bit slower per se than, than the overall vibe of yeah. the album. Yeah. Uh, do you feel uh, other song might have been better suited for the first single or does it even matter these days? Um, I would say with the results we had so far, we did no mistake. So I can't complain. So and the, the second song we released as a video was uh, King for a Day. So I think Everybody was happy. We have the best results in our career, so I don't want to talk about mistakes. Um, I know it's kind of like choosing your favorite child, but what is your favorite track on the new album? I think uh, from the all over vibe, I think a song like One Night in December, which is more than nine minutes or ten minutes, it's also writing this song is like writing three short songs so this was a big big uh, uh, adventure and, uh, and, uh, and a hard job and I'm very happy we will play it tonight that's say it all um, you are also involved in a million other things uh, Sinner uh, I want to say last August you I want to say August at uh, a touch of sin too yep was, um, great album uh, Sinner was your first band yeah uh, what made you make Primal Fear or what made you form Primal Fear? Oh, it was that I'm singing in a band and Ralph was singing in a band and we want to do something together, which I think is a good thing. So we uh, decided to form a band. He has the lead singer, I'm as the backing singer, main songwriter, producer of the band. So I have enough to do in Primal Fear, not just standing there as a frontman. And I still have Sinner in my background just to make Whatever I want to do aside of Primal Fear. Uh, Silent Force. Uh, did you just play bass for Al? Yes. Yes. Yeah, so you are. I have not nothing to do with that, because I was so involved in the new Primal Fear album. I said, Alex, you're my friend. I play bass, and I um, uh, give you some management uh, uh, tips and stuff like that. Uh, but overall, I can't produce the album or be in the studio for too long, I play bass. Buddha Circle. That's, that's also, different. That's also another project with Alex. Is, uh, but there it's, it's you and Alex and you are involved in it. Yeah, I'm co-producing and co-writing the album and uh, Voodoo Circle is, uh, is Alex's baby, but uh, I think uh, this band is has a lot of art for me, a lot of input and uh, this is very important for me. I like the music, I like the guys, it's great. Uh, you also going to produce the upcoming Kiss Kiss Somerville album. Is there any news on this one or? Oh, we've already finished the songwriting. Um, I think the album is a great progress to the first album. Uh, everybody's happy so far and we recorded the guitars, the bass, the keyboards, the drums and now they can sing. Rock Beats Classic. Uh, this year was the fifth year Yes. and you are the musical director. Yes. Were you involved from the get-go? I'm involved from the beginning of the project as a kind of co-producer of the whole event. What spawned the idea? The idea is to have a different kind of show and event where an orchestra, a 45-piece orchestra, symphonic orchestra, meets a rock band and a choir with the original legendary singer of the songs. So we invite every year five singers to join us and uh, um, tour with us and uh, so the idea is 
a classic rock event on the highest level. How hard is it for you as a person to split your time between Rock Meets Classic and Primal Fear? Well, it's because a question, sure a question of time management. Yeah? Sometimes I only work for one of these projects, sometimes I have to work for both, sometimes uh, uh, it's very hard, but uh, if you like your job, nothing is hard enough. Uh, I'm not going to ask you what all you guys going to do because people can look it up online. Uh, what is the best places for your fans to find out what's going on with Primal Fear? I think our homepage is always uh, uh, very up to date. It's www.primalfear.de and uh, the Facebook page is Primal Fear Official. So if you want to hear something or look or something, find out about Primal Fear, go there. Last words to your fans? Um, yeah, it's highly appreciated. I can tour again the USA and Canada. I'm here in Denver. Uh, had a great meal provided by a good friend, so now I have meet and greets, and then I will go to back to the bus, have a little rest, and rock the stage tonight, and uh, hope you uh, uh, can catch one of the shows in America. The band is in a great mood, on fire, and let's rock. Thanks.